Today I'm going to replace these little mini USB connectors with a micro USB connector. These are some little charge circuits that charge a lithium ion battery. It goes USB in and then it charges the battery here on the, the right hand side. Now I accidentally bought a bunch of these with a mini connector instead of a micro. Now I don't know who would want a mini one, but I guess they sell them. So it turns out the boards themselves have a spot for the mini and the micro both. So I'm going to just desolder this connector and I'm going to put on a new one. So I'm going to put this like this up underneath this capped on tape here. And this is high temperature tape just to help protect some of the rest of the circuit. And I'm going to put a little bit of flux on and this will just help get rid of the old solder. This will help loosen that old solder up. This old solder is most definitely going to be lead free and it can be just a little bit difficult to work with. So I've got some flux there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this hot air station. So this is currently set to 450 degrees. It's gonna take a minute for it to heat up. And 450 might be a little bit on the high side, but it works pretty well to get this off pretty quickly once it gets heated up. So once this gets up to around 350 degrees or so, then I'll start to warm up the board. And the board does actually have quite a bit of thermal mass on it. It's got a, a flooded uh, copper plane on both the top and the bottom. So it takes a little while to heat up, and once it's heated up, it takes a while to cool back down. So I'm just going to go ahead and go around and heat this up pretty evenly while this is still getting up to temperature. It's 400 right now. And there we go, 420 degrees. So now I'm just going to just heat this up a little bit on each side. And you don't want to twist or pull on the connector. It's going to come off all on its own. I just want to give it a little bit of... Um, pressure here just so that when it does get loose it'll pop off and there we go and that's all there is to that I'm gonna go ahead and set this down I'm gonna turn this off so it's not blowing now this board is still gonna be quite hot I'm going to use this um, kind of solder wick here and I'm gonna just clean this old solder up this is gonna be where the old connector was I'm not gonna reuse these pins but I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the old solder anyway only takes a second and then the new one the new micro USB you can kind of see where it's going to sit here on this front set it's going to use these connectors here in the middle uh, right here I'm going to get a little bit of uh, take a little bit of that solder off as well and it's going to use these to connect up and then it's going to use those two front there's actually four pads there so now I'm going to put just a little solder on this one now I'm going to actually hand solder the new connector on. Uh, I could use the hot air station, but I don't know. I just hand solder a lot of things. So I'm going to go ahead and hand solder them. Here's the new USB, micro USB. You'll see these are entirely surface mount. There's no through hole components. There are two little kind of plastic dots that stick out and they go in those holes right there. And that's what kind of helps line it up a little bit. I'm going to just put a little bit of solder on here, take that off. That old solder can be a little bit of a nuisance, especially when you've got such small pads. So, oops, that should help. Hopefully I can just pull that pad off. Uh, I think we're okay. I think I got a little excited there, pulled that up a little too soon. Pull that off again. Let's see. There we go. All right, now I'm going to put the new USB connector on and you can kind of feel where it goes, where it kind of sits in there. Um, there's just a small little, just little tiny notches just kind of help it flow into where it's supposed to go. I think I've got a little too far backwards. And then let me just make sure it's seated down tight to the board. All right, now this is still gonna be a little bit warm just from that hot air. Let's pull it out. We'll take a quick look at it. Yeah, it's still sitting up just a little high. Let's see if I can't uh, get that to go down a little bit. The alignment is quite important on these just because they're so small. But yeah, I can see it's just a little bit of solder kind of holding me up there. I think we'll be able to be okay. All right, now I'm going to solder this other side. And you don't want to use too much solder on these little tiny legs. 
what will happen is it'll go very easily into the connector. And then when you go to plug it in with the USB cord, it won't quite go in, it'll stick. So you just gotta be careful. You wanna use enough solder to hold it in place, but not too, too much such that it actually leaks into the connector. Now the tricky part, probably the hardest part by a long shot, is gonna to be to try to solder these little tiny legs on the inside. So let's see if we can get those. And there's not a lot of room, and you kind of just have to do it by feel. Yeah, I can't quite tell if I've got it in there or not. All right, let's plug it in and see if it works. Yes, it does. So those are connected on the inside. It's just indicating a blue light. I think that means charge is done, so it must just be, since there's zero voltage on the battery side, it's not sure what to do. So anyway, that's all there is to it. What I'm gonna do next is going, I'm gonna just clean up some of this flux res residue, got it on the bottom as well, and then I've gotta stack more of them to go. So anyway, that's all there is to it. It's a pretty easy project.